welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Manur and I am a second year PhD student or DPhil student at Oxford University and I study oncology. So this video is all about how I reached from Pakistan to Oxford with almost no money of my own. So I'm studying here on a scholarship by Oxford and I basically started from very humble beginnings with no uh, source of income sort of if I hadn't had the scholarship I wouldn't have been at Oxford Oxford was a dream of course but my main reason of selecting Oxford was not just because of the university the main driving factor was the lab that I work in so since I'm a research student I did have to find out the kind of project that I would be interested in and I had in mind a project which were which actually became a kind of an obsession with a particular paper I read back in my undergrad about five years ago and I really wanted to work on that and as fate would have it I have ended up working in the same lab that published that paper which is a blessing and I'm really thankful for it so the way I started was well, I did my undergrad from back in Pakistan from my hometown Karachi and I earned a gold medal because I stood first in the overall degree my degree program was microbiology and i majored in virology so i have always been passionate about viruses and then i switched field kind of to move towards oncology but even so my topic is related to viruses i work with oncolytic viruses but that would that might just be another topic for another day to go into details so what I did after my undergrad was I wanted to apply to a PhD directly possibly because I knew that UK accepts students with a BSc honours and, an M and a one year MSc into PhD and I had just that because my university offered that kind of a program but I didn't really have the kind of experience or the money that went to do it because coming from Pakistan I also had to apply for the IELTS exam which is the English language test although my degree was completely in English language but we still have to take the test and those tests are sort of expensive so I couldn't really afford it at that time and as I said I didn't really have the money or the backing from my family to be able to afford those kind of tests and the applications and stuff so what I did was I got a part-time job after my degree and then a full-time job and I kind of explored stuff but I couldn't uh, get into anything with lack of experience there was basically not much on my cv the only plus point was that i had participated in a lot of conferences had volunteered a lot so i had quite a dense cv but not enough to get into research program because research programs are really really competitive and you need to have a wide range of experience if you need to get in that so after my msc in 2016 I couldn't find a way around it and although I had dreamed of applying to different universities as a child I always thought I would move either to Australia or to the UK I was more driven towards Australia but with time I realized that the field that I wanted to get into was not so much diversely available in Australia so since I was doing core biology microbiology and virology stuff it wasn't quite there so then I did my masters from Pakistan as well but that was from a different city and that was from the national university of science and technology which is kind of the like top most ranked universities and i don't really understand the ranking but yeah it was a nice move and i did get to do something because i'm the kind of person who didn't like to stay in one place and not being doing anything but the thing that came with my masters was that i had to juggle it with work because that cost me a lot and pakistan doesn't really have a lot of scholarships and particularly because I switched provinces, there was like no scholarship at all. So I juggled between my studies and two jobs. I worked as an online content writer for different companies and sort of that helped me move along with my master's. And while I was doing my master's, at times I was so frustrated because I wanted to do this particular type of research that was not available in Pakistan. Like there's no lab in Pakistan that works in oncolytic viruses and I really wanted to do that so i could i applied to a dozen different places and although i was accepted at few the rejection list was really really long and i had never in my wildest dreams kind of thought that i would end up at oxford because i didn't know how i would go anywhere without a scholarship i really really depended on that because it was proving hard for me to pay in my own home currency as well uh, as it happened so like coming to a different country and managing living i needed 
a scholarship. So I applied to every position that I could find, albeit related to uh, oncology or like having something to do with viruses because that was my passion. And I did get accepted at Imperial College London, University of Sydney and University of Melbourne. But these had like the scholarship bits in hanging and it wasn't really confirmed. Although there were talks about kind of getting a scholarship at Imperial College London, but at the same time as fate would have it, I sort of took the leap of faith and wrote an email to my now supervisor. And he sort of told me that he would like to interview me. And this was a very, very random thing. It was just a week before Christmas. And he emailed me like past midnight my time in Pakistan. And he said, uh, look, I know it's really, really late for you, but you either do the interview right now or... I'm going on holidays and when I come back, the Oxford application process might have finished. So if you really want to take this position, it is now. And thankfully, I was awake because I worked late night shifts and I sort of just talked to him and it turned out really well. And he told me, you know what, just go ahead and go through the official application process and I'm willing to have you in my lab. And that, that one week just sort of changed my life. I did apply. And meanwhile, I had finished my coursework and my master's and I had started my research, which wasn't really going anywhere at that point because I was working on isolating viruses from sewage samples, from blood samples. It was just like I couldn't see a way ahead, but I knew that applying for a PhD and the entire process might take six to seven months. And this was December 2018. And I knew that if I get in, I wouldn't start until at Oxford until October 2019. So I just took the leap of faith, did everything. And by the way, at that point, I wasn't ready that if I got it, I already have a bachelor's and an MSc. I could probably just leave this degree and go. That's Oxford. So, but things turned out really well. I got an interview at Oxford in January and that went really well it was sort of a grilling interview but it felt more like a discussion and that went really well and i didn't have to apply for a scholarship separately something that i feel really really blessed about because oxford has its own list of scholarships for graduate students which is again something to talk about in detail maybe later and then i just received an email based on my application that i'm from pakistan and i've never studied abroad before and whether i would like to avail this particular scholarship that they were offering for people from pakistan and i just filled their application it basically just asked me three things of how much do you depend on the scholarship how can you afford how much can you afford yourself and what are your chances of taking this position if you don't get the scholarship and i sort of told them very clearly that i 100 percent depend on the scholarship and chances of me coming to oxford without a scholarship are zero and that's about it and by april i knew i was going to oxford i i had just given my pre-defense sort of thing for my master's like winding up my research and in within uh, one week of that i got an email that i have got the scholarship and would i like to avail it and that just sort of changed my life i I took the scholarship, I finished my master's, got done with my degree by July 2019 and in September I was in the UK. So that's sort of how it happened and it's just it's just something amazing that happened to me because I never thought I would get it. I absolutely had no way to fund it myself and everything just fell in place with all of, it took a lot of hard work, a huge series of rejections, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I think all those rejections, because those were all from universities that were much, much lower ranking from Oxford. And I thought if I hadn't gotten that, there's no way I'm going to Oxford. But it happened and I'm here now and I'm very happy about it. And Oxford has been amazing, even with the lockdown and everything. So hopefully there will be more to talk about. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up and thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.